Hello and welcome back to my channel. Can't believe I'm saying that, but I've got my pumpkin spice in my hand. It's turning autumn leaves and that means it's only one time of the year. The wardrobe switch over. Yes, I can't wait. Honestly, I do love my new wardrobes. Ever since I got my glass wardrobes, I'm so happy with them, but I think they have their peak time in autumn winter because my autumn winter clothes just look so much nicer in, whereas all of my summer clothes are just like all over the place. I mean, let's light up, <laughs> see what I did there. Um, and yeah, get rid of all of these summer clothes and put in my autumn winter clothes. I've already have the um, piles of storage containers down here. So what I'll need to do is basically just get everything out and then put the new things in and then put, you know, the old things in the storage bins. That's basically the job. And I'm really looking forward to this because other than all of the other years, I don't have to stress about how I can rearrange and make it better. I can just put the things where I sorted them last season because I really liked that setup and I was really happy with it. Great start to the video. My camera already died um, or my storage cart went full. But yeah, let's get going. I'll pop you on a hyperlapse and clear out these wardrobes. I should slow it down, take it easy. I just keep on staring at my phone. Yeah, my head's spinning, heart's racing, knowing that you could give me a call. Are they awake at night? Because all I seem to think about is you I don't know what to do Do I want this too much? I know I have burned you once before Raising, knowing that you could give me a call. I lay awake at night because all I seem to think about is you. Can I stay? Okay, so it's been a lot of work and another day that has passed. Um, so I don't know if you noticed, but I filmed these clips in two days. Anyways, I am done. 
autumn is here and so is my closet and honestly <laughs> I am so excited. Again I just find the whole experience so pleasantly surprising. I do have to say um, I didn't really get rid of anything. I really just switched over and I do really have to declutter again. Um, however there are a few pieces that I've narrowed out of my selection so these are things I consider uh, getting rid of. First up is going to be this jumper which um, I do love. It's a very pretty jumper but I've just got the n another one that is really similar and I think I prefer the other one um, and I really don't need two striped jumpers so I think that one's gonna go on Vinted. Next up I have this um, little cardigan which I'm really in two minds about because it is the only like pink thingy in my wardrobe. Um, as you can see like everything else is just whites and blacks but I just so rarely ever wear it and I just I don't really see myself reaching for it however once I do want to wear pink every now and then um, that's like the only thing that I still got so I do want to hold on to it for that reason but I don't really see myself wearing this regularly so I'm thinking I'm just gonna pop this um, away just for now uh, next up this skirt I've already like decluttered this last season and then I didn't really wear it this season uh, last season because I, I already decluttered this last time and then I got it back and I still haven't worn it um, I don't know I do like the skirt but I just I, I want to get rid of something you know <laughs> and I just feel like this is one of the like less special things um, next up I've got this jacket which I really like. It's kind of this like Tweety jacket from Urban Revival. It's really nice quality um, and I love love the metallic threads in it. It's just again it's just not something that I really reach for. I find the um, metallic threads a bit itchy. Um, not that you feel them because it is lined and you would wear this with a top. It's just like I don't really have any occasions where I wear this to um, so I end up not wearing it at all um, and I think someone else will really really love this so yeah this might go on vintage as well and then I am really hard to like tear with this because I really do like this this is like a little um, tweed corset set from Guilia this is like lovely like pastel colored one it's like this beige you know it has baby blue and baby um pink in it it's really pretty and it has the matching jacket and it has really light like um sequins in it as well and I think it's really pretty it's just I feel like the, th the skirt is just a bit too tight on me um and I just never really wear this as a full-on set um so yeah I don't know I just think I have so many tweed jackets and this is just not the one that I ever really reach for um, on its own and then the skirt itself. I might give this another try on because uh, maybe it fits me better this season but if it's still as tight as it was last year then I think I'm gonna get rid of that. And then the only thing that's still lying around here are my little sequin tops and honestly I'm not sure I'm gonna put them in yet just because um, yeah they're a bit festive just yet um, and I don't really like you know see myself wearing them just now and I don't know I do like adding them just right before Christmas just as my Christmas jumper because I feel like that gives another like wardrobe fresh up um, so yeah these will stay out but yeah I can give you a little tour of what it looks like now okay so here we've got the full-on wardrobes and as you might be able to tell a lot of black has moved in since the last season but when I do open this up this is like the main bit which has like all of the tops and these are like blouses, tweed jackets and like these kind of like special cardigans with these like big um, gold buttons on it. Um, so these are all up here and then I've got all of my skirts and shorts right here. I do have to say there are a few like still kind of summery shorts like the cream ones but I do think you wear them all year, year round. Um, and like these, these are so pretty, um, silky. They're great for the festive season so I just kept them in because yeah I'm not gonna switch over much um, just before Christmas. And then I've got my knit drawer here, which is honestly my favorite drawer. It's so pretty. It's so aesthetically pleasing and satisfying. And I just, I really love it. Um, I've got my trousers here, which you can see are not many because I've got just jeans and leggings um, and then a few like seat trousers. But most of my trousers I've just hung in here on like these little baby hangers. Um, so yeah, most of them are just in here and I just keep them that way. Oh, I forgot about these, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that is that. 
And then my loungewear drawer, which just looks nice and refreshed. Um, still need to leave a bit of space for my two tailor hoodies, which need to fit in here. Um, yeah, I'll see how I'll do that. But yeah, that is that drawer. And then on this side, which is just my favorite one, it has dresses and I find this one is so pleasing to look at. We've got like lots of like white dresses and these like new ones from H&M with the gold buttons, the knitted ones, they're so pretty. Um, tweed dresses, jumper dresses, and then lots of little black dresses that got added to my collection. Um, I've got one blue dress which I'm always trying to hide because I think it ruins the aesthetic and calmingness of this. Um, but yeah. That is that. And oh, down here, nothing much has changed, which is why I didn't show it. But right here, I pretty much just have bows, like ha headscarves, um, sunglasses. And then in here, I just have a few like knitted tops and, you know, just a few like folded down tops. And in here, nothing has changed. That is still my um, workout drawer with like all of my uh, tops and like little sweaters and jackets and then down here i've got the other drawer which has just my leggings and sports bras i love that one that is that is one of my most used drawers um but yeah that is the overall so guys that was my annual wardrobe switch over let me know what you guys think um if you enjoyed this video i'll say thank you so much for sticking around and uh, helping me doing that task and then i'll say see you next time bye